From the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park, the show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Miami Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomp. Here we go, Chris. It's another edition of September baseball between division rivals. So we should be in for a good one. No doubt about it, Boone. Both of these clubs have the same goal in mind, and it's simply this. Reach the postseason. They know each other really well at this point of the year, so there are no big surprises. Just go out and compete like crazy. Execute one play at a time and focus on clean baseball. That's all you can do this time of the year, and it's the most important thing to do. Just about ready to go, and towing the slab in this one, Ranger Suarez. Really labored his last time out. Four plus innings, wasn't able to qualify for the win, but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss. We'll see if he can get in the W column today. Okay, all set to go. And at the plate for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz. And here it comes. Hey. On the outside corner, underway here at Citizens Bank Park. Now the one. Now one and one. The one one. Little chopper rolls foul. And a swing and a miss, and there's one down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Miguel Rojas at the play. That one's in there, 0 1. One down, base is empty. And strike two. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That hits the dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. No score just getting started top of the first. Ground ball up the middle. Story collects it. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. As we take a look at Don Mattingly's lineup for the Marlins. The challenge for him today, Siggy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball oh, in down. dirt. Abasail Garcia at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Pitch. That one missed. One ball, one strike. And now the lefty stays alive. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third 
foul ball in a row. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Next offering in the dirt. It's two and two. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making them work out there. 2-2 Two -two now. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. And the Marlins down quietly. And now it's the Phillies' turn. No score. You're dialed in to the show. We go to the bottom of the first, and starting this one, Eliezer Hernandez. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Gene Segura in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. That's inside. That's excellent location for a pitch like that. It looks like it's going to be a strike, and then it just runs in on the hands. So if you can... Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point one. Here's Chris Bryant now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Sakura gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Riding to the plate. And one and two. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Next offering way off the plate. Hammer down the line, and now maybe extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. Throw comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. Now it's the right fielder, Bryce Harper. So clutch, you could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. No break. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. Well, hitter looked pretty comfortable on that swing. Pitchers don't like to see that. Let's see how he changes it up on this next pitch. Here's Harper, the count two and one. And it's even up. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Brandon Jordan. Brandon Jordan. In there, and it's 0-1.
second and third here. One away. Whoa, Next offering is downstairs. Chopper right side. Cooper picks it up, and the first run of the game comes across. Well, expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Hit us at four at bats yesterday. First offering, misses the mark. Kicks and deals. And now two and nothing. Rudder at third, two away. Balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. offering misses and now it's three and two and a pitch swing and a miss and that is that so one run on one hit no errors and a runner left we move on to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Phillies one and the Marlins nothing. Back at Citizens Bank Park, second inning set to go. And now here's the Marlins DH, Jesus Aguilar. Suarez back to work. Ball one. And yeah, there's a ball. Count one and oh. The lefty the one oh. He was late there, strike one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Here comes a pitch. And there's a foul ball. And now it's one and two. Stays alive. The one, two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one, two. That one the other way, and it goes just foul. You're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. 
Next one full misses, count, and a full countdown. Good plate appearance there, able to take the walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. In there for strike one. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. The 2 Got him. And one gone. Jazz Chisholm now. The second baseman. Jazz Chisholm. One hit to right, Harper under it, and makes the grab, two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Batting seven, the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Jesus Sanchez getting ready to hit. First offering and it just misses. That's where you oh, want it. It's a good miss. Right side. Segura handles. And that is that. One left for Miami. They trail here. One nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, and now Kyle Schwarber. For the Phillies, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Oh, why to kick the pitch? And that's through there for a strike. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning for a lot of pitches. Left hand batter waits. And that one missing low. The 1 1. And that one fouled off. And a ball in two strikes. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Anderson racing over to make the catch. Batting seven, the first baseman. Reese Hoskins. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Hoping to lock up the home run title down the stretch. He leads the league right now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. Just missed. And 
And a 2-0 is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And the righty deals. Lifted in the air, right center field. Garcia under it. Makes the catch. Two down. Batting eight. Not shortstop. Trevor. Here's Trevor Story. Having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right-hander kicks deals. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. That misses the two zone. Well two and one. The wind of the pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Two-two now. That one ripped. And foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Three-two down. Got him looking. That ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But they hold a 1-0 lead. <laughs> Top half of the third inning, Jacob Stallings now. This guy, one game. of the best defensive the catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Suarez back to work to the right side on to first oh. and a quick out number one batting none the third baseman Brian Anderson Brian Anderson the next up for the Marlins And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Next pitch off the play, and it's two and one. Not close with that one, but he gets him to go after it. That's out number two. Brian De La Cruz now, now at the plate. The center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. That's hard hit in the line. Jordan makes the catch, and that'll do it. Enough to do it for the Marlins. They still trail 1-0. Welcome back as we go to the last of the third. And now the catcher comes up to him. JT Real Muto. 
JT. Real Muto. The wind of the pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Garcia glides back. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. One down. Almost a loud no start to the Number inning two. on that first pitch. Second Man, he's going to want that one back, Jeez. no doubt. No, Gene Segura at the plate here. On the ground to the left. Fair ball. Digging it out of the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a double. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. He smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. Now the number two hitter, Chris Bryant. One home run shy of 200 for his career. His next home run will be the 200th in his career. It would be pretty cool to see it right here. And that one fouled off. Segura, the runner at second with one away. Dives. What a play. And wow, what a great diving catch, Siggy. StatCast says that was a near perfect route, and it had to be. But that's just a big part of his game. I mean, this guy's instincts just seem to always put him in a position to make special plays. And right there, he's done it again. Here's Harper now. their lead it's three nothing love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an attack you watch him from the on deck surface so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that screen Brandon Jordan, the next to hit. The center fielder, number 25, Brandon. First off, oh, Ray right misses the mark. The pitch. So two balls and no strikes. 2-0 count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. Swing and a miss. Now two balls and a strike. Slice to right. And that's just foul. Stays alive. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But the Phils get two on this blast. It's now 3-0. See me, I got something new. And all my haters, y'all can think you softly because you like the gas tank over Mr. Softies in the wind. It ain't feeling you. Back here in Philadelphia, new inning getting started, and the batter will be the shortstop, the Miguel Rojas. The shortstop, Miguel Rojas. The pitch. Check swing, one, one. went around. Strike one.
And a pitch. Ripped on a line. Racing makes the catch. And there's one down. Not pulled at all right there. He was clearly all like over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. To the right side, Hoskins steps on the bag. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Now batting, the designated hitter, Jesus Aguilar. Now here's the Marlins DH. Jesus Aguilar worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets out. The Marlins yet to pick up a hit here. Next offering is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And a pitch. Ball that one. misses the zone, and that's ball one. Another ball. And a foul ball. And now the lefty. And now the count filled up three and two. Three, two now. On the ground, right side. Fires over to Hoskins. And that will end the inning. And one, two, three, go to Marlins. Still down, three, nothing. Bottom of the fourth, Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Leading up for the Phillies, the designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. And a pitch. Just missed. Count one and oh. Pitch misses, and it's 2-0. and oh. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. The 2-0 is in for a strike. A wind of the pitch. This one high in the air to left center. De La Cruz on his way over. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now back, left fielder, Kyle. Now here is Kyle Schwarber. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty to the play. Two balls, no strikes to count. And yeah, the right hander deals. That one spoiled, and the count down two and one.
Left hand hitter waits. That one off the mark. Ball three. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one is back. He can't get there. It's a base hit. And he's got a double. So when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Hoskins pushes it foul. At the belt and fires. There's a strike of the knees. And it's nothing in two. Runner at second here, one gone. Next pitch misses. And that is ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Jesus Lazardo up and loosening in the pen. So now one and two to Reese. And that's outside. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Comes the 2-2. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. And the runner holds. And here it comes. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. One out and a runner at second. Hoskins didn't like it. And there are two outs. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get the ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards kick. Here's the shortstop at the play. Trevor Story caught looking his first time up. First pitch, and he just misses. Man at second. That's in for a strike. And that one moves his feet. Runner at second, two down. And he flips the breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one, <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Two outs. Swings and misses. That's his second strikeout. One left for Philadelphia, but they need it 3 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. Leave and leading it off, moment. Garrett Cooper. The first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Whoa. 
downstairs. The 1-1. One, one. That one missed. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. The pitch. That one just misses. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Oh, that drilled him. Fires over to Hoskins. One up, one down. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Here's a speed threat, Jazz Chisholm. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. pitch and a foul ball he stays alive the fish hitless so far in the game next one off the plate inside ball one the pitch Stays alive. The pitch. Ripped to third. It's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Love how he let that ball travel, now trusted back. his hands. Let's nice job of going the other Jesus. way. And now here is Jesus Sanchez. Grounded out his first time up. Pitch misses inside. And yeah, that's ball one. Move to first. Chisholm gets back easily. Chisholm, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. The 1 0. Good eye right there. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in. Elevate his pitches and get back into this at bat. Suarez with a move to first. And he dives back in safely. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Man at first. 
Now it's the, the catcher. Marlins catcher, Jacob Stolen. Oh for one, he grounded out in his first at bat. And that's in there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And now the 1. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. That hits the dirt, and it's 1 and 2. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. Marlins leave one. They trail in this one, three nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. The wide to kick the pitch. That one hammered left field. That's back. No! That ball was an absolute blast to left. His 17th of the year. It's 4-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Jesus Lazardo will take over here. He's into the game with the bases empty. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So the lineup flips over, and here's the Phillies' leadoff man, Gene Segura. Number, number two, second baseman. Bounced out to short, Gene. Rojas loves it. Fires over to first. Segura out in the play. The batter, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Down the third baseman, Chris Bryant, one for two. In there, and it's 0-1. The wind of the pitch. Not yeah, even close the there. 1-1. One and one. Good eye in that spot. Two balls, one strike. Foul ball there. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And he deals. And it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And now the lefty. That one drilled left field. Way back there. No! I didn't know what time it is. It's time to get ill. Chris Bryant pops one out of here. His 33rd over of the year, and they add a run. It's five zip. Singy, somebody go track down that baseball. It's number 200 for him. 200 career home runs. That's the legitimate power at the plate, and that's something that a lot of guys would dream of getting to. Here's Bryce Harper. 
the right fielder, number three. That Eight one's five. in there, 0 and 1. Harper. Just oh, off down. the outside edge. The pitch. And a count one and two. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. That one the other way. Anderson on the run. Throw to first. Harper retired. The center fielder, number 25, Brandon Jordan. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bar. Next offering is in for a strike. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. One ball, Next two pitch into dirt. Now one and two. And a ball evens the count. Next pitch misses way outside. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And the lead is now 5-0. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, top six. And now for the Marlins, Leading Ryan the Marlins. Anderson. The third baseman, Ryan Anderson. Suarez back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Just off the inside edge. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. At the belt and fires. Tap softly to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Now batting the center fielder, Ryan De La Cruz. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Ryan De La Cruz. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. All in one now. Gets him to chase that's after that one. Two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That's the third. Bryant picks it up. Rolls across the diamond. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. Shortstop. Miguel Rojas. Two outs. Base is empty. Miguel Rojas. The next up for the Marlins. Next pitch downstairs, Ball and one, it's no one and oh.
kicks and fires. And there's a the ball. No strike. And a pitch. Out towards right center field. Segura on the move. Tracks it down for the out. And that's the third out. Miami down in order. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. And welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the DH. Nick Castellanos. But this kind of lead, he can swing Nick. freely. Try to hit the ball no, out of the park. No, no. Do what he loves to do. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Here comes the pitch. On the corner for a strike. That's strike one. One ball, one strike. And the pitch. That's out to center field. And a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm oh, front side. And the hands oh, just you. continue to carry oh, yeah. through the middle of the field. Oh, yeah. So man aboard. Kyle Schwarber will hit next. Well struck right field. That's back there. Kyle Schwarber goes deep. His 29th of the season. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 7 0. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the day. See how he stays square to the plate. He takes a breaking ball that's away, gets around it, gets it up in the air, and hits a long home run. Not exactly the way that you teach it in the cave, but you'll take the result. Jordan Holloway gets the call from the pen, and we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down fit. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. Now batting, first baseman. Reece. First pitch, just misses. Hoskins. Right-hander kicks, deals. Two balls, no strike. Check swing. He held up. Three balls, no Count. strikes. Righty delivers. And a four-pitch four walk. Boo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, um, I think that that's if they gave tough. the pitcher a full scouting report oh, on me, yeah. yes, I think I could draw a walk. Story, the next to hit, takes outside. Miami's bullpen with some action. Zach Pop appears to be warming for Don Mattingly. Swing and a miss. And the count even at one. Hoskins gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike.
right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. The no, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding Catching. all the holes in his swing and his you approach, come. just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Real Muto up for the third time here, watches that one miss. Kicks and deals. And it's fouled away. And the right hander deals. And that one wrapped foul. Now the count is even. The pitch. High in the air, out to right. Garcia settles underneath it. Pulls it in for the out. Now batting, second baseman, G. Gene. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no fight. And the righty deals. He swings and fouls one off. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. That's off the mark, and it's two and two. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Next offering misses down and away. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. The right-hander nope. gives up the two-out walk. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring right. position, and a the chance for this team. offense to add on to Good. their lead. So two down, Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. First offering, misses the mark. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Pitch misses, and a count two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Next one misses, and a count is three and one. The pitch. Strike two. You got a full count. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 7-0. There's a river in a valley.
All set for the start of the inning. And at the play for Miami, Abasayu Garcia. The, the right fielder, number 14, Abasayu Garcia. The pitch. There's a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. And he deals. Strike two. On two. The pitch. Going to count one count and two. One and two. And the one two misses to even the count. And now it's filled up. So the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to lay off some really Leading close pitches. And somehow, Boog, he found a way to keep the bat mm -hmm. on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. At the belt and fires. And it's oh, one and man. one. Kicks and fires. In the air, out towards right center. Jordan on the move to his left. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And yeah, there's one away. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes now of batting. balls the in the gaps. They practice Garrett. this, and when the game Hooper. comes, they make the play perfectly. Garrett Cooper, the next up for the Marlins. First pitch, and he just misses. Garcia leads off first with one away. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Harper brings it in, two away. The batter number two, second baseman, Jazz Chisholm. And up next for Miami, Jazz Chisholm. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And that's in there for strike one. Yo won. And a foul ball. Phillies fans want a strikeout. And now one and two. And a pitch. 
They tried to get him to chase on a slider, got it away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the frame. One left for Miami. They continue to trail. 7-0. So the Marlins go with a new arm. Zach Pop. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Bottom of the seventh, but now here is Hartford. Leading up for the Phillies, the right fielder, Ryan Harper. Here comes a pitch. And ball one to the right fielder. And the 1-0. Fought off foul. Left hand batter waits. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. No chance for a play, and let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark, but obviously out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. It just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Here's the 0-2. Right through there, got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an now individual man. performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked yeah. very comfortable up there. Just one of those Count days. Up. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead, getting that double. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Pickoff throw, hey. Harper back in standing. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Ball and that's down it away. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And the pitch. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. De La Cruz to third, and he's out. Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty good right now. That's an excellent job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. Now, for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want to lose a runner in scoring position by making it out at third base. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Castellanos off of first with two away. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And a count one and two.
on the ground right side and that one finds its way through so that's two straight two out hits two consecutive base hits for these guys here this will have seen high base hits through the infield it just kind of rolled over on it a little bit but sometimes those can find a hole and get you enough and now for the Phillies Reese Hoskins First pitch doesn't find the zone. First and second, two down. That misses. Now 2-0. Oh. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. To third, Anderson handles the chance. They take the force out, inning over. Phillies leave a couple, but they're still in control. It's seven nothing. Welcome back. We go to the eighth, and now for the Marlins, Jesus Sanchez. Off for Miami, the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. pitch swing and a miss one one, one next oh. offering is outside man this has been impressive just now getting to 100 pitches as we start this eighth inning he's given them a lot of length and we'll see just how much longer they'll let him go left hand hitter waits and that skips into dirt Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Well, it's a really good pass to the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. It's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. And the 2-2. That's down and in. Three two on the way. Ripped on a line to center. Jordan pulls that one down, and there's one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about now the bad. process. He that's did everything right that's right that's there. Good. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Here's the catcher to hit, Jacob Stallings. First offering, and it just misses. That one drifts inside. And a pitch. Inside, just missed. And he walked him. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Well, the Phillies manager making his way towards the mound now. As he will make the move. Ranger Suarez done for the night, and he was a tough nut to crack. Pretty stingy from start to finish. Back with the new arm after a quick break. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Yoan Lopez. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. And at the plate for Miami, Ryan Anderson. Hey. 
in there for strike one. And he dodges that fastball. Next pitch is downstairs. Yeah, two balls, one strike. Right hander kicks deals. That's outside. The pitch. Foul off down the right side. That one sliced foul. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now that the center fielder. And now the center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Sam Kunra up to throwing. Line drive, caught! Now batting, the shortstop. Miguel Rojas. Now, Miguel Rojas. That one pushed foul. You'll one. And a swing and a miss there. Going two now. In the air out to center. Jordan under this one. Drops into the glove. And the inning is over. Marlins strand a pair. Not going their way. It's seven nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that can steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Well, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. And here it comes. Misses outside. Ball one. Righty delivers. Whoa, that pitch is out. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And that one fouled off. Right handed reliever. The punch out there, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out now in the eighth. JT Real Muto digs in now. He's already homered in this game. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. 
good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. First pitch, not close. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. And now two and nothing. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Righty to the plate. That one missing inside. You have a catcher that can throw like that. A pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Swing and a miss, three and two now. And fouled off. Three, two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's the second out. Wow, just great bite to that slider. No Broke hard two. out of the zone, and second he just couldn't three. hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. So the Philly batting order turns over. Here's the second baseman, Gene Segura. First offering misses badly for ball one. A 1 0. And another ball. 2 0. The pitch. Over to Cooper, Segura out in the play. Three up, three down, inning over. Through eight full, it's the Phillies seven and the Marlins nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, all set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in is the speedy Abasayu Garcia. And he deals. That one misses, ball one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. I think he was sitting off speed there. One one now. There's the swing and a miss. Next off is down low. And a right-hander deals. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One up, one down. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. For the Marlins, the designated hitter, Jesus Aguilar. Hey. That one's in there, 0-1. 0-1. That clips a corner. Felt hard in, soft away, and now he's in an 0-2 count. He's got to figure out a way to try to sit in between, perhaps choke up a little bit, and just try to get the bat to the baseball. At the belt and fires. Just off the inside edge. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Kicks and fires. Stays alive.
A one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Just kind of slice that one into center. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the now field. Batting. Man, there are a Number lot of hits there. Garrett Hooper. And now the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. And that's in there for strike one. Aguilar stands at first with one out. And that one is lifted in the air. Harper turns to the right on the move. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's two down. Now back, second baseman, Jazz Schizer. Man at first, Jazz Chisholm getting ready to hit. In there and it's 0-1. Good eye right there. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. This is two and two. Two outs. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, these guys secure a winning season with the W today. Regardless of what else happens the rest of the way, you know that you're a winning ball club. So a little bit of pressure off. Put your foot on the gas to see where you can finish from this point on. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John